Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. This is the 30th anniversary of the West Islip Symphony Orchestra. Tonight we're performing two major pieces, Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky and the Brahms Double Concerto for Violin and Cello. I am absolutely in love with classical music. It's been part of the world's history since like the 1500s or so and churches and people it's expression it's it's art it's the way that we tell our history and the way we express our emotions i don't want music like this to die out and let history be erased because this stuff is beautiful it's amazing and though we may not play it exactly perfect every time we still are doing our very best and we don't want that to ever go out, go away. I've been a member of this orchestra for about three years or so. I heard about it because I was looking around for different orchestras and stuff. Because I was, you know, I'm a musician, so I wanted to go do something. I found this orchestra, and I've, I've had a good time. I like the challenge of um, technical things that are technical and how to take go a sh stretching from a technical p piece to a melodic piece or have a melodic piece that has a huge amount of technicality to it. I just love music and I come just to watch the performers, how they handle the uh, violins, etc., and the sound. I'm just a music, I hate to use the word, but music freak, shall we say. Community orchestra, and uh, as long as someone is able to play, we ask them to come, and they give us a call. And usually, my wife gets on the phone, and her answer is uh, very carefully: go to your uh, closet, take out the instrument, put it in the case, and come down to the orchestra. Uh, we try to be very friendly, and uh, it works. You know, we get uh, a nice group of people. And as they uh, get back to their instruments, some of them even start taking lessons again. They get their music to take home, practice it, learn it. It's a fun experience. Uh, my father had a trumpet, a mandolin, a ukulele, and a violin in the house. Uh, unfortunately, no piano. Uh, but uh, these were things that he played when he was a, a youngster. And I would listen to a lot of music because I always loved listening to music. And I would play and sometimes take lessons, sometimes not practice, whatever. And he looked at me one day and says, you know, if you'd practice, maybe you could play like that. And then uh, when I was in high school, I got into the band and it was like I found a home. Uh, the music was around me. It was really a, a warm fuzzy. Linda and I played the solo parts of the Brahms double uh, concerto for violin and cello. I think because it's an endless challenge and you're never done and it's a live performance, it's a live art. So you're, you're, you're changing it and you're evolving it as you play. 
it's exciting that's, for us. That's exactly what I would say. It's, it's, it's the most incredible kind of music, and there's such a great variety of it, and you never feel that you've totally mastered it. It's like there's always something more you can do that makes it better. I spent a lot of time teaching in the university, so you're teaching young music students and trying to in, in, uh, imbue them with uh, uh, a love and appreciation for the art of classical music. It's like uh, anything that's acquired taste. For that matter, so is rock music acquired taste. What was rock to uh, your folks is not rock to you, you know. It's, people listen to more classical music than you think. Uh, it's in movie soundtracks, it's in uh, uh, radio broadcasts, it's in commercials. Uh, it has its own life. I've always liked classical music. Uh, it talks to me, you know. It uh, it's fills a need, I guess, is what it amounts to. I uh, can't hate to have to think of living without it. Mm -hmm.